hello everyone again and welcome to my channel in here we're going to be looking at other thermal cycloaddition reactions and this specific type of thermal cycloaddition reaction involves let me say a sigma bond which is a carbon hydrogen transfer now this requires one arcane and let's look at one particular example by which you can actually focus on this type of reaction now one of these example involves an arcane over here and this interacts with a particular dienophile I believe which is in this nature now what we realize in here is that we have a particular sigma bond where we have carbon and hydrogens over there and usually if you want to know how to or you want to introduce a form or activate this particular species over here we usually we usually generate a negative charge either at this region or we generate a positive charge over here or we generate a radical over at this particular region over here this, by that way you can actually introduce an empty p orbital that will be required for a cyclo addition reaction however this is not the case over here what we have is actually a hydrogen over here and once you're able to look at this hydrogen something kind of interesting happens here the hydrogen transfers from one particular point to the other now let's look at how this particular mechanism actually takes place in this case if you look at the mo what we realize is that this particular compound over here has the p orbitals actually positioned here this and that however on this other part we have a sigma bond with this particular sp3 and we have the hydrogen over here which is the 1s so the combination of both forms a sigma bond on the other side we have this particular compound and this compound if you look at it in this particular plane we have the oxygen, we have the oxygen here, we have this other side oxygen and that. Now, this pi bond, there is a particular molecular orbital combination in this particular region. Now, let's actually name tag all these particular molecular orbitals. In here, we have the sigma two electron which is actually sigma a superficial interaction with this particular part over here which has this combination molecular orbital combination both having a pi two electron which is superficial with respect to this so superficial means is that we have this particular here shared over here and this shaded over here will also overlap with shaded over here now on this other side what we have is a pi 2s which is superficial, uh, superficial as well and what we have is the other case where we have this non-shaded or this particular region non-shaded which will overlap with non-shaded non-shaded now what we get as a result of this molecular orbital overlap is the formation of our product which is in this manner over here so we have this that with this where we have one hydrogen and let's differentiate the hydrogens over here so the one on the blue is this particular hydrogen over here that is moved over and stays at the bottom over here now let's actually reveal the cyclo reaction over here so the cyclo addition process involves this particular region 
here and that particular case in this particular case this pi bond forms a sigma bond this pi bond actually forms a sigma bond with this hydrogen over here while the sigma bond over here forms a pi bond that is how this actually becomes that now I think that's about it for this reaction and the one thing you need to note is that this reaction doesn't form a new ring and the hydrogen atom which is actually transferred is actually done over space so the close proximity that we have between these two molecules in respect also to the enthalpy that actually determines how this hydrogen is able to actually transfer through space to form this particular new sigma bond over here. Now the CH bond is parallel with the P orbitals which is what we got over here and the orbital overlap is formed which leads to the formation of a pi bond. So what we got over here is a sigma bond which actually transforms into a pi bond over here. So that's about it for this particular reaction. I hope you guys are able to actually understand this and please hit the comment down below and let me hear your thoughts ask any questions thanks for watching hit the like share and subscribe see you all next time be smart bye